President Bush hails the passage of the Medicare, Medicare reform bill. Hello, everybody. I'm Jane Skinner. The president says real savings are on the way to America's seniors, saying that today that Congress's overhaul of the Medicare program is a major victory in improving health care for older Americans. It's a multi-billion dollar measure. It includes a new prescription drug benefit for, se for seniors. It also gives private insurers a bigger role in their own health care. Explosions near the U.S. headquarters in Baghdad today. Some reports say at least two rockets were fired. No signs of any injuries at this point, any serious ones anyway. We'll have much more in a live report from Baghdad coming up later on Studio B. A car bomb attack was foiled in Saudi Arabia. The Saudi government says security forces there killed two terror suspects before the explosives in their car went off. Investigators are now trying to find out who those suspects were and whether they had any accomplices. In the wake of the Michael Jackson child molestation investigation, an elementary school in Hollywood has covered up the superstar's name. It did appear in the school's auditorium, but it was removed after some parents complained. The singer attended the school there for a few months back when he was just 11. And who wants to be a first lady? It's not a new reality show, and most likely it won't become a reality, but a political website is looking for a date for Democratic presidential candidate Dennis Kucinich. They got the idea from Kucinich himself. He had joked at a candidate's forum that he didn't have any time to date, and somebody like Fox, he said, may want to sponsor a search. Well, Fox uh -huh. doesn't want to, but politicsnh.com, it's a website, took him up on it, and Kucinich has agreed to go on a date with the winner. More than 80 bachelorettes have entered. Huh. We should point out, though, that he's twice divorced, just full disclosure, right. and he says he's looking for... I think he said a peace lover who believes in universal health care. But it's not so. his website. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not his website. website. No, politicsnh.com. It's actually quite funny to check out some of the entries. You know why I mentioned that was because I was watching one of those news channels that no one else was watching, so I felt like I should watch them just so someone would be watching. <clears throat> And they said that it was his website and that it was his idea and that he was actually actively seeking no. a wife online. Well, I actually uh, went on the website and they say that he's agreed to it, so they're very happy that he agreed to yes. allow them to sponsor it. So, no, I don't well, think it's his. I, Who knows? A, a spy tells me that one Jane Skinner was, uh, what was the word? Speaking of crushes. Slithering around <laughs> the building, not sl stalking. Skulking? Stalking. <laughs> stalking a guest on the I Fox and Friends morning program today. Say. How long have I worked here? And we have all these famous people that come and go, handsome actors, sexy yep. musicians. Never do I ever ask anybody for an autograph because I don't want to bother them. But he was right down the hall. Clay and Aiken. I have it. I brought it because I knew you were going to tease me G about Block's this. G-Block's favorite. you're so wired in this place. Someone was going to tell you. I brought the autograph. But it, see, it says to Jessica. It's not oh. me. Not this Jessica. Not <laughs> Jessica, the stage manager? No, it's for one of my best friends who is obsessed with him. Oh, And I got nice it for her. Jessica and I told who? him it wasn't for me, and he didn't believe me. He didn't have any he photos didn't, on him? Um, I, I didn't ask because, you know, I hate to bother him. He was kind of hassled, and a lot of yeah. people were skulking also. Skulking. So. The last be name careful, is just... Be careful with oh, right. him now. The last him. name is just A-L-E. Well, he's Clay good now. A -L -E. He doesn't have a lot of time. That's true. He's like <laughs> going for his doc. Going to be a doctor now. Uh, he seemed like a nice guy, but he seemed like he didn't like to have all those handlers, and everybody was messing with his hair, and he was bothered by it. He seemed like a normal, nice guy. Well, the hair worked out really, great, didn't it? So it's the one, <laughs> one time that I really, I just couldn't help myself. He's one of the G-Block's favorite people. He is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For his talent. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good to see you, Jane. Well, you too. Yeah. <laughs> no, you have a good week. I will. Thank you. Me too, Tom B. N. It's it's messy out there, the okay. weather. You heard about that, right? I, I hope not for Thanksgiving. Look at this, though. Look at the man in the orange there just standing there, and there's some snow. Road crews in Washington State prepping roads for a huge fall storm. More than nine inches of snow falling over the weekend, and more on the way. Winter storm warning in effect through tonight for several areas across the state. You know, some of that, Jane, that storm that was all up north uh, caused delays in the whole air transportation system to where I couldn't even get back to New York from Memphis. There was no snow there, Jane. That's just great. There was no snow here, Jane, but flight attendants had to come in from Vegas or something, so it was a five-hour delay. Five hours. Is more of that coming for you in your turkey weekend? Let's get to the Weather Center now where meteorologist Don Morelli is hanging about. What's the word, Don? 